Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with this month's horror pack. And, uh, I already have the first title spoiled for me because somebody decided to open my fucking mail because nobody... Nobody in this house can respect that shit, so, um... Yeah. The first one's not a mystery to me. And the first one... Let me actually just sit this to the side so I don't see the next title. Um, the first movie in the pack is, uh, a British... A British, um, werewolf movie called Howl. Now, I've seen this movie, actually, and I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Howl, personally. I remember one of the only things I liked was the premise, which is a bunch of people, um, end up trapped inside a train that's stopped in the middle of the woods, and there are werewolves outside. And that's pretty cool, pretty interesting, kind of, uh, premise, I guess. And I remember that the design of the werewolves is they don't, like, have any fur. They're, like, all skin, which I felt, um, which I felt kind of made them more unique compared to other werewolf films. That being said, though, this is, um, this movie is, is okay at best. It's a decent, I guess, decent flick to put on if you've got nothing else to watch and, you want to watch a werewolf movie, then yeah, I guess this is worth checking out. But personally, I'll stick to late phases, uh, in all honesty. That's a better, uh, recent werewolf movie. But still, yeah, Howl. And let's see. Okay, this is one of the two horror pack exclusives, um... For this month. There's two of them this month, which is a big reason I stayed subscribed. Here we've got a film by Debbie Rockin. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, from Wild Eye Releasing. Called Model Hunger. I have no idea what this is, no idea what it's about. Um, let's have a look. The directorial debut of Horror Icon uh, is an unsettling, dark humor critique of the entertainment business, as if John Waters directed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A former model and actress had been cast aside by the modeling industry when she was a young woman due to her body type, and she didn't take rejection well. When her new neighbors, Debbie and Sal, move in... Wow, there's a typo on the back of this fucking... I want to point this out. I want to point this out. Okay. It says, when Debbie and Sal move in, but right there it clearly says movie. I mean, my camera is not going to fucking focus on it, but trust me, it says movie on the back. Um, movie in. They begin to notice strange things happening at Jenny's. Uh, as the list of local missing women begins to grow, Jenny shares her culinary delights with her all of her neighbors. So I guess this is like... Uh, uh, about a former model who's killing and eating beautiful women. That might work for me. That might work. Let's see. This, I think this might be the next horror pack exclusive. Yes, it is. I see it on the back. Um, what do we got here? Huh? Let's see. We got a... We got a little deadly crush. Let's see what this is about. Uh, uh, rents a secluded cabin to jumpstart her creativity. The sheriff pays her a visit, insisting her to leave since the cabin has been condemned for 40 years. Despite this warning, she uh, opts to stay and paint. When faced with dangerous situations, an invisible spirit begins to protect her. The ghost kills and possesses a body, convincing her to escape with him in a new life, with him on the run, now wanted for murder... Her and the spirit pursue Red Dot Abandon. Okay, so I guess it's like a ghost romance movie. Like like that Patrick Swayze movie, Ghost. <laughs> uh, I guess I can maybe get behind this. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. And the last one in the pack for this month is Dead in Tombstone. I actually... Um, honestly have not seen this one. I know about this. I've heard quite a bit about this. Isn't this a... This is a universal film. 
Um, I know this is like a revenge horror western about a, 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 um, a guy who is portrayed by um, Danny Trejo, which Danny Trejo is fucking great. I mean, yeah, he'll appear in anything as long as he gets a paycheck, but he, he's just so entertaining and so interesting. Um, this also has Mickey Rourke in it and uh, Anthony Michael Hall. But, yeah, I, I rem I've heard about this before. I haven't seen it. But it's like a Western horror where a guy gets killed and then he comes back from the dead to exact revenge on the people who killed him. Um, yeah, honestly, I can, I can get down with this. I do like a good Western every now and then. And I do like a good horror film every now and then. And I do like a good horror Western, which we don't have too, too many of those. So I guess... I guess this is kind of a plus. I'll have to watch it myself to make sure it's a full, full plus. But that's, that's an alright pack this month. The two limited editions are um, okay. I don't know if I'll really ever watch them personally, honestly. Because out of all the limited editions I've gotten out of the horror pack, I've watched maybe two or three of them. Um, and only two of them have been movies I've seen before. But uh, I guess I could say Howl was a plus. Because it's just a random movie to throw into the collection. You know... I'll rewatch it someday. Maybe I'll maybe I'll like it more now than I did when I first saw it. But this is not a bad pack for the month. And to top it off, I got one Blu-ray that it's gonna be a while before I do another Blu-ray collection update. So um, I'm just gonna throw this Blu-ray in there. Um, this finally came out after being after being announced last summer <laughs> and delayed many times by Massacre Video. Uh, all respect to Massacre Video. Love those guys. They're they're great. They do great work. And uh, I picked up their new release of Enter the Devil, which comes with this limited edition slipcase. And um, what can I say about Enter the Devil? I, I haven't seen it. Um, I know it's like a low-budget, kind of 70s Satanism uh, western-ish kind of movie. Uh, that's all I really know about it. And I know that this film is was also on the... Uh, Section 3 Video Nasty list under the title Disciples of Death. And that could be a good or bad thing, because there are some really great movies on the uh, Section 3 Video Nasties list, like Dawn of the Dead and uh, Alice Sweet Alice. But then there's films on the, the Section 3 list that are less interesting, like White Cannibal Queen and... Um, I, I can't think of any others that I've seen off the top of my head, honestly. So I'm just going to stop there. But uh, another movie that was on the Section 3 list was Invasion of the Blood Farmers, which if you saw my review of Invasion of the Blood Farmers, you know I actually liked that movie quite a bit, despite it being awful. So I hope that at least it will be something like that. But I'm going to have to pop this one in tonight. It also comes with a second film, which is another film from the director, that is uh, California Connection, which is... I guess an erotic film. So that's also cool. But yeah, that's that's it. That is it for this Blu-ray DVD collection update. Not a, not a collection update. This is Blu-ray. This is it for the monthly unboxing of the horror pack. Anyway, guys, this is Biscuit Boo Horror Reviews signing off. Peace.